What was the difference between American lions and cave lions? Lions are rightfully regarded as top-tier apex predators. Big, smart, strong, and often work and hunt together. They've earned their spot as one of nature's most powerful predators. Today, we mostly hear about two kinds, African lions and Asian lions. But here's something most people don't know. They weren't the only lions to ever walk the earth. Way back in the Ice Age, there were two massive and mysterious lions you've probably never heard much about, the American lion and the cave lion. So how did these ancient beasts live? What made them different? And why did they vanish? Well, that is what we will uncover today. So just chill, relax, and let's get started. Back in the Ice Age, the plains of North America were packed with life. Huge animals like bison, mammoths, and wild horses wandered across vast grasslands. But as free as they seemed, danger was always close by. Predators were everywhere. Bears, wolves, and big cats all competed for food. But the biggest and scariest of them all, the American lion, also called Panthera atrox. This massive cat was related to today's lions, tigers, jaguars, and leopards, which is why it belongs to the Panthera family. At first, scientists thought it was just a bigger version of the African lion, but over time, they realized it was different enough to be its own species. One cool feature, it had a special bone in its throat, called a hyoid bone, that let it roar, just like lions today. As for how long it ruled the land, well, that's still debated. Some say it lived around 43,000 years ago, others think it showed up as far back as 200,000 years ago. Either way, its time on Earth was short compared to the famous saber-toothed cat Smilodon, which lived for over a million years. The name Aatrox comes from Latin, and it means cruel or terrifying. Most of what we know about the American lion comes from fossils, especially the ones found at the La Brea Tar Pits in California. Nearly a hundred of these ancient cats have been discovered there, giving scientists a good look at what they were like. Thanks to how well the bones were preserved, researchers have been able to study the skeletons and compare them to modern big cats. And what did they find? The American lion was huge, much larger than today's African lions. On average, it was about 20 to 25 percent bigger, with males being noticeably larger than females. Their body length, not counting the tail, could be anywhere from 5 feet 3 inches to over 8 feet feet, and they stood around 4 feet tall at the shoulder. The American lion was a true giant among big cats, but its exact weight is hard to pin down. Since muscle structure and density are tough to measure from fossils, experts rely on comparisons with modern lions and other large cats. Estimates suggest males weighed between 520 and 1,150 pounds, while females ranged from 385 to 800 pounds. If these numbers are accurate, the American lion may have been the largest cat ever, dominating as the ultimate apex predator. Roaming ancient grasslands, these powerful hunters targeted massive herbivores and anything else in their path. With razor-sharp claws to grip prey and bone-crushing jaws, they could suffocate or snap necks with terrifying efficiency, a true nightmare for any creature that crossed their path. The American lion's raw power and size made it a deadly hunter, but did it hunt alone or in groups? While most big cats are solitary, evidence suggests this ancient predator may have been social, much like modern lions. Fossil findings at La Brea, where many remains were discovered together, hint at pack behavior. If they lived in prides, these groups likely included females, cubs, and a few dominant males, working together to control territory and take down prey. Their massive size meant they weren't built for long chases, so teamwork would have been key. By using stealth and ambush tactics, they could overpower even the fastest or strongest prey. Though it has vanished, the American lion continues to be an icon and a mystery for scientists and animal lovers everywhere. The Cave Lion Unlike the well-studied American lion, cave lions leave scientists with many questions. The biggest debate, how many species actually existed? The most recognized is Panthera spilaea, also called the Eurasian cave lion, which split from modern lions about 500,000 years ago. These cats roamed Eurasia and even parts of Alaska during the Ice Age before vanishing 13,000 years ago. Some likely crossed into North America via the Bering Land Bridge, possibly giving rise to the American lion. There's also also Panthera facilis, an older and more controversial relative. Some think it's just a subspecies of Spelea. With so much left to uncover, cave lions remain a fascinating puzzle. 
Some scientists argue Panthera fasalis was its own species, an ancestor to the later cave lion. Most experts trace lion evolution back to Africa, where fasalis ancestors first emerged. Around 1.8 million years ago, these big cats migrated into Eurasia with the oldest European fossils dating back 750,000 years. Their arrival shook up local ecosystems. Predators like saber-toothed cats, European jaguars, and giant hyenas couldn't compete and died out. Many prey animals were overhunted too. Lions also interbred often. Cave lions mixed with modern lions, creating hybrids like Panthera spilea intermedia. Over time, cave lions shrank in size. Early fossilist specimens were much larger than later spilea. Their skulls and teeth changed too. Panthera fossilis, or P. spilea fossilis, measured 8.2 to 9.5 feet long and weighed 880 to 1,100 pounds, making them true giants of their time. Their appearance remains a mystery. Like modern lions, they were likely tawny, adapted to grasslands. Unlike modern lions, cave lions likely had thicker fur to survive Ice Age winters. Their maneless males might have appeared shaggier than today's African lions. But were they loners or team players? DNA links them to solitary tigers, yet cave paintings show them in groups. And open grasslands often favor social hunters. These powerful predators hunted everything from young mammoths to wild horses, deer, and even bear cubs. But life wasn't easy. They competed with hyenas, wolves, bears, and other big cats in a constant battle for food and territory. So now you know, American lions and cave lions were two sides of the same prehistoric coin, titans of their time, each shaped by the world they ruled. Which one do you think would win in a one-on-one -on -one showdown? Let us know in the comments.